Come with me on this journey along the Alipuri footpath to Tirumala, home of Sri Venkateshwara Swami Vari Temple. This would be the first stop for many of the visitors that choose to take advantage of the free luggage delivery service where they can check their bags and collect their belongings at the end of their journey. The Tirupati Balaji Temple is the most visited holy place in the world with an average of 50 to 100,000 visitors a day and over 500,000 during special days of festival. There are two footpath routes up to the temple. The Alipiri footpath is the longer and more difficult of the two, but also the more fun and interesting way up to the top as you will see in this video. Here is a devotee applying tikka between the eyebrow. This is said to retain energy in the human body and recenter one's spiritual focus. Fire is used as a source of enlightenment and helps in guiding the way. The Alipiri footpath is over 9 kilometers long with 3,550 steps. It is known to be the footpath to salvation, therefore must be walked barefoot. It takes an average of 4 hours to reach the top of Tramala, so some pilgrims pack sleeping bags and blankets to rest in between. The image here on the ground is demonstrating the proper way to bow in the presence of a deity. Now this to me was the most interesting experience of the journey. Unfortunately, recording was not allowed inside where various rituals were performed. You will have to travel to Tirupati, South India to experience it yourself. Believe me when I say that it would be worth your time if you do. Along the path you will see many beautiful ancient temple structures like this one with hand carved images on the walls. Some of the truly devoted continue to light the way. There are water faucets placed throughout the path for drinking, cooling off, and apparently brushing your teeth. If you're wondering why the steps are yellow and orange, it is from the colored anointing oil being applied by the devotees. Along the way are signs indicating how many steps have been taken and how many steps are left to go. You don't have to worry about getting hungry as there are many food vendors along the path. Here is where I stop for India style donuts, crepes and coffee. The donuts and crepes are more savory than sweet and served with chutney. Very inexpensive as my plate costs under a dollar. After breakfast and nice conversation with a friend I met, it was time to get back to the hike up. Along the way are images of the various incarnations of Hindi gods. No reason for dehydration as refreshing cold beverages are available for sale throughout the path at a reasonable price. Steps. I'm starting to test my endurance. Ready? A family of warthogs roam freely in the woods along the path in search of food to eat. <laughs> Women, men, and children alike anoint the stairs leading to the temple.
restroom facilities are available along the way to the temple. Gray langur monkeys eat and play amongst their natural habitat. Look at how this older one is not sharing his food with the baby. He's doing his best to ignore him and play keep away with his food. This monkey seems very grateful for being given this fruit. Vendors abound trying to make a quick rupee by drawing cartoon caricatures of pilgrims in front of iconic structures. <laughs> to the left here is an information center. This was an easier part of the hike as the path started to flatten out. It is also the best place to sit down and have lunch as there are many restaurant stands in this area. In case of an emergency, this is a medical office. There are even stands to shop for clothes. Two thousand three hundred steps down and twelve hundred and fifty more to go. On Dasher, on Donner, on Blitzen, let's take a look at the Deer Park. Six kilometers down and three to go. Here we see construction workers renovating the structure around the path, installing new granite tops. This is the Hindi god Hanuman. In Hindu mythology, Hanuman is the monkey commander of the monkey army. He is the symbol of strength and energy, the living embodiment of Karma Yogi who is remembered for his selfless dedication to God. It was a joy to see families enjoying the experience together, children playing along the way and fathers having fun with their sons. Here are more upgrades being done to the pillars where artists hand chisel intricate carvings into the stone.
Take in the beauty of the lush gardens along the way. A portion of the footpath runs along the highway up to Tramala. On one side you can view the valley of the mountain. On the other side you see the intriguing rock formations of the mountain itself. We are now approaching the archway to perhaps the most difficult portion of the track. By now fatigue has set in and many devotees opt to crawl up these steep steps. We have reached the final leg of the footpath. Here at the top, the devotees pledge promises to their God and ask for his favor. <laughs> this is the town of Tirumala, home of the Tirupati Balaji Temple. Thousands of devotees line up every day to get their head shaved at Kalyan Kata. It is said that those who donate their hair in honor of Lord Vikateshwara will be repaid tenfold in the form of money with the blessings of Goddess Lakshmi. After donating their hair, devotees proceed to the queue for Darshan at the Tirupati Balaji Temple. Thank you for watching. Give the video a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel.